exercises, games, and activities is what you can expect from PE at home, and it starts right now. Welcome to another episode of PE at Home. I'm your host, Coach Lockridge, and today we're going to play a game called Secret Code. So let's look at the materials you're going to need to play this game. Okay, boys and girl, girls, the first thing you're going to need are eight small plates. Now, you can color those plates any color you want, as long as two of each of the plates are the same color. So you can see here I did red, green, yellow, and blue. I have two of each of those colors. The next thing that you're going to need are four plastic cups. Those plastic cups are gonna help you figure out um, if you've gotten your code right. And also, you'll need the uh, the barrier so that you can't see what your uh, what the other code is. And this is a lot more fun if you have a partner to help set up your code with you. So maybe ask a family member, a brother, sister, a friend to set up a code the code for you so that you can uh, try and figure it out. And then my other four plates are back behind the uh, barrier. I can't see them, I don't know what it is, and we're gonna keep it that way so we can play the game the right way. Each time be uh, before you switch a plate, you have to do an exercise. So I'm gonna do jumping jacks. I'll say I'll do five jumping jacks every time I want. <laughs> I'll do five jumping jacks every time I wanna switch two plates. So if you watched our Rubik's Cube game uh, last week, it's the same thing. To be able to switch the plates, I have to do something to, before I can switch them. So let's check out the game and watch it full speed. Okay, so Miss Coach Lockridge uh, made the secret code for us. I have mine set up like this, and the object of our game is to figure out if I can figure out what her code is. And each time I get a combination right, she's going to put down a red, a red cup for me so that I know if I did it right. So I'm going to start by doing five jumping jacks. One. Two, three, four, five. Nothing yet. One, two, three, four, five. I got my first one. One, two, three, four, five. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Looks like I got another one, right? Okay, two more. So I did my five jumping jacks. I'm gonna flip it like that. See if I got it right. And it looks like I solved the puzzle. So it's really that simple, boys and girls. If you want to make it a little bit more challenging for yourself, then what I would suggest is add more colors. Um, if you want a little bit more activity and you want to do it more like a relay, get a partner, run back and forth, and see if you guys can figure out the code as well. So remember, you don't always have to use the same materials that I have. If you have something else that will work better for you, I want you to use it. Also, again, be creative with this game. Make up your own code. Use different things to show that you got the combination correct. I hope you enjoyed this episode of PE at Home, and we'll see you next time. Okay, boys and girls, so the first thing you're going to need are eight small plates. Those plates can be colored any color that you want, but... What colors are there? Not two, four, six. But what are the colors? Tell what, me the what colors. What colors are there? No, you're counting them. What are the colors? What color is this? Yellow. What color is that? Purple. What color is that? Green. What color is that? Purple. No, red. Red. <laughs> I said, yeah. <laughs>